So you can just open it up, you go through it, everything in the pitcher is on there, okay? And this Are is the another pitch. controller, okay? So one of them, like if you try to go like left and down, it won't work, It'll only on one of those. So whatever one does that, just throw it away. All right, got you, thank you. You wanna see my other sh Yeah, I'm interested. Right. <laughs> this is a complete Sega system with a bunch oh, of games. Uh, for the Sega I would need like, do a hundred even for everything, dude. That's for everything. And, dude, check this out. Oh, N64 too. Yeah, but I got some, I got some Ooh. good game. This game I can't do. You keeping that? Yeah, I have, dude, because uh, I already have it sold. Oh, I, I oh wanna, that's fair. I don't want to screw somebody over. I could do 510 for everything. 510. And listen to me, you have my word that all this shit works. How about 400? Can't do it. Can't do it. Four? No, not even, no. It would have to be five or nothing. Or, or you could just get this for the, for the what we said. Yeah. And I, oh, I got more. You got more? Yeah, yeah. One second. I got a, a whole Nint NES setup with games. Let me see that. You got oh, Zelda, Zelda, Contra, Paperboy, Arc. You have the game, uh, the console, or I do. is it just the? I oh, have yeah. many consoles downstairs. What are you looking for for or asking for the N Nintendo? <sighs> um, I haven't even really thought about it. Um, for these games, I'd want one ten. No console? With the console, I could do 140. What about six for all of it then? Um, okay, so then I would, what? I'd give you a system and two controllers and you would deal with the, the other cords, correct? The, oh, the, the Nintendo thing? Yeah. Well, you said you was only missing one cord, yeah? Let, let me go look, okay? Yeah. Let me go look. I trust you, all right? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere, Sheesh. Somewhere in there. <laughs> Oh, that's that the cord? It. Dude, I might have the whole setup for you, dude. So Does. even though this one has a little paint on it, this one works the best. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Which yeah. one of these? Yeah, that one works the best. You want this for 20 bucks, PS3? Does it work? I I honestly you have no know. idea. That's tough. Um, yeah. Yeah, 20 yeah, nah. yeah, I'll take it. 20 bucks, all right, so yeah. you're at 620. Yeah. Do you want this for 10? Um, no, I think I'm okay with that. All right. Uh, do you want two control, two more controllers? Look, you can have four people playing Mario Kart on that with four controllers. I'll give you two more for twenty bucks. Two for twenty. How about how about six thirty total? So that would be twenty for this, ten for two more controllers. Uh, yeah. You can pick. I like this one better, but this is it's all about how to. You know what? I'll give you a f all three of them. That works. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to go there and just get a Super Nintendo and I ended up getting all of this stuff for 600 bucks and I honestly don't even know if it's worth it. So now I'm about to go through everything, clean everything and check comps on everything and see if we made any profit on this purchase. So it's the next day and crazy stuff happened. I cleaned and tested everything and everything works beautifully except the Nintendo, like the power button like blinks back. I don't know, it just has a blinking light on the power and I don't know what that means nothing comes up on the screen and the sega genesis i think it works but the av cords there's only two i think there's supposed to be three i don't, honestly i don't know but when i turn it on nothing pops up on the screen the screen kind of just flickers and the nintendo 64 works perfectly except you can see there the reset button is one disgusting and two stuck now mind you i paid 600 dollars for this plus games expecting to flip it for some sort of profit so i hit up the seller that sold me all this stuff and i told him the issues i was having and he was like yo you know what my bad 
come through tomorrow and i'm gonna give you literally everything that i have left so that's how this box came into the picture i have really no idea what's in here he said there was another nintendo another super nintendo and another n64 so that's what i know is in there but he said there's a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna go through there and then while i was on my way to him my plug hit me up and said yo i got some stuff are you looking i said of course i am what do you got for me there's a ps2 a ps3 a bunch of controllers and like some switch accessories 24 video games and dude it came with simpsons hit and run for xbox this game pushes like 50 dollars, and i got all of this in this box here for 120 bucks so now i'm about to go through both of these boxes clean and test everything and we'll see what we got at the end of it all i'm not gonna lie to y'all dude this took forever i got three super nintendos and it has four controllers two n64s one of them has an expansion pack that has five controllers ps3 with two ps3 controllers and some kind of wild looking third party controller i've never seen that before got three nintendos with five controllers a sega genesis that has four controllers and a bunch of games and accessories we got a ps3 a ps4 controller just wild stuff dude and basically everything works except the three nintendos but i did look up some youtube videos on how to get rid of the blinking light i'm gonna try to do that and if i can fix it sick if i can't then I'm just gonna sell it as is. These things right here, I don't know. I have no idea how to use them, how they work. I know they're supposed to attach to the Switch. I have an OLED, and when I tried to put them on my OLED, it just simply just did not connect properly. So I don't know if they work or if I'm just not doing it right. And this controller here, I don't really know what's going on with it. It was working perfectly fine, and then all of a sudden, it started flashing red, and I tried to look it up. And Google was saying that there's a number of reasons why the light could be flashing. So I don't know. I need to do more research into how to get that fixed, but it was working perfectly fine now i know a lot of y'all saw this the infamous gold cart for legend of zelda which is super sick then we got some mario games for the super nintendo and i've honestly never played these games before even got aladdin which is dope this game here was also a hidden gem that i've never heard of called midnight resistance i think this goes for like 25 to 30 dollars but out of everything on here this is definitely what i think is the coolest thing that was a part of this bundle final fantasy was essentially my introduction to the jrpg genre so the fact that this was in here is so cool so for everything that you see here i paid a total of 750 dollars now i don't know what the value is of everything but i'm gonna pop it up right here and hopefully that number is higher than what i paid did i spend too much that i make out y'all let me know in the comments below and i'll catch you on the next video